Hey guys, Incapacitate here, and I'm going to be showing you my skill build for my sorceress. A lot has changed since my last skill build. I'm level 60, so I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to show you guys what you want to have, prioritize, and, and if you're low level, what you should concentrate on. So, I'm going to go with Awakening. Basically, you're going to max out at 60, because at 62, as you see, this skill here and the skill below here, it's basically just uh, you're not going to be pushing for 62 for me unless you're like a hardcore player you're not going to be pushing for that so you're going to max out when it comes to skills at level 60 you should still push for 61 if you seriously want to be above levels of competitiveness but you don't really have to now at 60 you'll basically have everything you need on the awakening skill tree for this class in your main hand you want to have Ultimate Midnight Stinger, so you can be able to cancel into it from doing any skill. You want to have Shield of Darkness, this gives you a DP buff. Dark Flame is something that we only had back when we didn't have Awakening, and this is one of our hard hitting skills, and it's still pretty useful. It comes in handy when you just want to block or if you run out of stamina and you need to use it for. A slight mobility and a frontal guard. I didn't do the shadow eruption. Reason being is this is optional. It's not consistent. Uh, a lot of sorts use this for their combos, from scattering shadow into a shadow eruption. But you don't have to take that. It's completely optional. I didn't max out profile because this is also something that is optional for combos. Dream of Doom, you have to max this out. This is one of them skills that is like your initiated skills that you'll be using a lot because Eminent Doom is instacast. You throw it. Now I'm just going to scroll through so you guys can see everything I did cover. I just covered all the main things. All right, back to Awakening. I have pretty much everything at maxed out that I can get that isn't level 62. I maxed out Scythe Training because, well, it comes in, in handy here and there. I had nothing else to put my points into or nothing else that I seen Bob would put them into. Uh, this is something you don't have to do. I mean, you, you're rarely going to see Scythe uh, sort of swirling to the left and right unless they're like, have a lot of AP and they're just trying to finish off their opponent. I mean, it does a chunk of damage but at the same time it's not really one of them things you want to prioritize violation is a must you want to have violation all the fucking awakening skills really you want to have but these are the skills if you're just starting out and you're just making your sword you want to make sure you have violation when you get 56 you want to make sure you have turn back slash dead hunt you want to make sure you have grim reaper's judgment uh, all these other skills like Blade of Darkness, uh, Cautions, you don't have to break your neck for Blade of Darkness. This is really just a play toy in my opinion. Uh, and it's good for aggro and mobs if you're grinding. But you don't really have to like prioritize yourself into getting this. Although, there's ways to use this when an attacker can fight. Here is an example. You want your invisibility. It's Nightmare. That's a pretty good skill. You want your block. Well, your counter of your block. It's a vile pain. It allows you to counter your opponent and throw a hit back at them. And I think it, what is it stiffens them and then it floats them in the air. Alright. Now that I show you the skills, we're going to move on to gear. This is my build. Now, all you hear on NA is AP this, AP that, AP multi. It's the meta, blah, blah, blah. Fuck that. Don't follow that shit, guys. I'm just going to be straight honest with you. Accuracy plays a big role in the fucking Sorks arsenal. You want to have an offhand that is accuracy. If you don't have that, you're going to at least have to have two tri rip core rings if you're going to be running full AP. The reason why I don't have two tri rip core rings is because this is completely opinionated, but the offhand accuracy is tremendous. It may say only 28 down on the item effect, but there is a lot of accuracy on this offhand. Just this duo Helric alone was out fucking damaging my tech. No, it was surprising to the point that I sold it and I bought this thing here. I'm still enchanting it. I'm trying to get it to try. 
um, my Kazarka's back down duo because I failed on the tech. That's fine though. I mean, things happen, and that's part of the game. RNG. You fail, you pick right up, and you keep going. Man. You want to get Bez Gloves, make this like priority. Red Nose or Bez Gloves should be your priority for your first use of boss gear. Red Nose gives hidden evasion. Tree's okay. Tree, tree's good, actually. Tree has better stats than Red Nose, but it's not tremendous. Try to get Red Nose because Red Nose gives a lot more DP over normal gear and it gives evasion. Want to get Bags? Bags is your accuracy. Kazarka, Bags, and this accuracy talisman, all accuracy. There's no reason why you should just be running around with no accuracy at all and have 200 AP because that's not going to help. As you notice, I have a Rick Talisman up here and I'm also plus. I use this during the Wars and Sieges because I am very hard to hit during this. Uh, I don't know if you've seen, if any of you ever seen most of my videos, you say, oh, that guy's not taking damage. Is it because he's level? Is it because he's fighting under gear people? No, it's because I have all this damn evasion on. It is very hard to hit me during it. And now, on top of that, I almost have 290. That is terrifying when fighting people that don't have a lot of accuracy stacked up. So I'm just telling you guys now, do not follow that meta. Everybody's telling you to stack AP, that's just so they can counter you and stack evasion and completely out fucking clash you and outskill you in their opinion. But if you run accuracy, you will be able to take on a lot more opponents than just sitting there running full AP. So that's the last time I want to say that guys, do not run straight AP. Do not follow that bullshit. It's a meme. It's a fucking meme. <laughs> Alright. If anything, guys, um, I just want to show you all the skill build and the gear. Uh, here's an updated guide for you all. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave likes and comments if you have any questions. And I'll be here to answer them.